All right, we're recording. So I'm totally stoked about this, Ron. Uh, I A lot of people have given me feedback on this, and this is the first time that I'm doing this. And so people have like been, Kevin, you know so many amazing entrepreneurs who are just world-class experts at what they do. You should really start getting them all together and inviting these world-class experts, you know, to just come and share from their heart. And and so here we are, Ron. This you're you're Uno number one that I'm doing this with. And I, Ron, I gotta tell you, I am just stoked. You you and I have had such amazing conversations in the past. And I just love being around you when you're sharing from your heart and sharing your expertise. I've been on I I've seen it play out and I'm just honored that you're here to do this and have agreed to do this and have agreed to invest your time in this. So I'm just going to shut up and turn it over to you and let, let folks know what, what, what we're doing and what we're planning here. Well, thanks. First of all, I, I appreciate you and I appreciate being the, the first one. I'm, I, I think I'm probably a safe bet for the first one because, <laughs> um, <Agreed. laughs> and I appreciate being called world class or being included in that group. I'm not really sure who that group is, but, but, but uh, I'm probably at the tail end of that group, not at the leading edge of that group, but I, I appreciate that. I think um, my goal is always to make a difference and help people get clarity I often tell people that for a living, I offer you perspective. Um, I am not, uh, I was not a natural business phenom. I, there's things that I understood about relationships that I drug into business. I did go to college and I studied political science and I studied business and I just studied a lot of hard sciences too. Um, I studied oceanography and physics and all kinds of stuff. I'm a, I'm kind of a weirdo that way, but my background is between retail grocery, and then Hollywood. I worked in both of those areas. I worked my way up through a retail grocery company to be the leader of that company. And I've uh, done some turnarounds in retail grocery stores. I left that career about 20 years ago when an opportunity came along to make infomercials. What made that bridge possible was when I was 19 or 20, I got my first job in Hollywood as an actor and I ended up being in about a dozen movies. And I hung around on those movies beyond the days of acting to be on set and to work as a production assistant. So I learned how movies were made. Then I started writing movies. And I had the good fortune of optioning a couple movies earlier in, early in my career. So I, have, I had this storytelling background and this retail background, and I understood P&Ls and business mechanics. So going into advertising and marketing was kind of a natural thing for me. And to truncate the story in the last 20 years, um, I've sold, I think, about $6 billion directly. So receipts, that's not just the brand, that's, that's transactions I created Um or people swipe their credit cards or call the 1-800 number or however that worked um, for a, just a host of different retail products from GoPro cameras to Samsung robotic vacuum cleaners and lots of cleaning shows, lots of cooking shows, lots of cooking appliances. Um, now, having done that, I kind of left that world in the last five or six years and I do a lot of teaching, but I do mostly consulting because people come to me and say, how could you help us launch our product or make our business work better? And I come into a company and I really look at processes between customers, products, the organization and how it deals with those things, the communication structures and the financial structures. So there's these core elements that I, that make up a success. And Fortunately, I have friends that come and ask me these questions from time to time. Hey, how does this work or how does that work? And often I don't know because that's something that I've learned over time. And I kind of have to back in the answer. And I say, well, come back to me in a week. Let me think about that. And one of those things was, um, uh, you know, kind of how money works. Like what is money and where does it come from? Then how do businesses work and what makes a business successful? And I can tell you there's four categorical things that make a new business in particular successful that most people just overlook. Um, people know that they have parts and pieces of them, but they don't know it's really simple. The simplicity of any business is you have to have an innovation. 
you have to have a product that's useful that people want. Now I'm talking about successes. There's a lot of people that come out with stuff that's not innovation and they learn how to sell it. I don't work with pet rocks. I work with things that really work in the world that help people make their lives better. So you have to have an innovation and that could be software. It could be hardware. It could be cookware. It could be any, anything where then it has to have margin because if the product is too expensive to make and won't sell for a high enough price and your margins are too tight, those are generally commodities. You don't have enough money to fuel the business with the marketing, advertising, personnel, the product building and research that you will need to do to make a business work. You need to have substantial margins. And those have to be from, I'll say, landed in the U.S., ready to, ready to be distributed to a retailer or um, directly sold to customers through Amazon, whatever, of 70 to 80 percent margin which sounds hefty, but it's actually not that bad. Because if you get a product and you have 70 to 80% margin in it, and by the way, most of the things you buy in the world have 70 to 80% margin in it, which is hard to believe, but consider this, somebody makes the widget and the widget gets sold to a wholesaler for twice what it costs the widget to be made. So say it costs a dollar, it gets sold to the wholesaler for $2, he sells it to the retailer, for 250 or three, they sell it for four dollars. One dollar to four dollars. Those are 75 percent margin right there, right? Yeah. So I want to know that our cost of goods to our eventual retail price is gonna gonna have that type of margin. Okay. Then the third thing is you got to have an audience. Someone's got to want it, and typically, if it's a really great product, there's multiple audiences that want it. And then the fourth thing is you've got to have a story. You've got to have marketing. Okay. So within all of those things, a company exists, people get hired, there's sure there's human resources and there's laws and there's shipping and all of the fulfillment and the stuff that happens. But those are the four pillars under which everything else operates. Yeah. So that might sound a little bit boring, but if you don't understand that fundamentally, you don't understand your own business. Now, let's say you do understand that. Once you do understand that, what do you do with storytelling backing up into audiences to make sure you get the retail price that you need that supports the margin to make the business fundable. That's business. How do we tell stories is ultimately everything. So quality product ends with great story. So what my role often is, is to step into a company and go, have we thought about these things? And most companies actually can't tell you what those four things are. Most employees can't. Most owners can't tell you what those four things are and immediately describe them in detail. So what I do is I come in and I kind of teach you your own business. And that's what we're going to do on this call is talk about what are the fundamentals of money and where money comes from, then what are the fundamentals of these businesses? And we'll give you a notepad to follow along with and you'll, it's simply a fill in the blank class to help you get clarity on all of these things so that you can go back and be a better business person and learn to sell and talk to your clients and clientele and customers and prospects in a way that fits their psychology, which gets you out of the role of screaming your features at people and being able to help them self-identify through your benefits that they desperately need your product. Because at the end of the day, a great customer is not just someone who buys from you, is someone who walks away trained to resell your, your product to, to somebody else. Because they are your best funnel for any business, is a happy customer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to spend okay. some, we're going to spend some time on a call where everybody's going to be able to dive into their own company, start to kind of psychoanalyze what they do, lay it out in front of themselves. And, you know, people, some families have like a planning session that they do at the beginning of the first of the year. We're going to plan our budget and our, our diet and our households do that. This is kind of like a mid-year break to be able to do that, to spend an hour or so sitting down with us, maybe two hours the most, and looking at what's in front of you and laying it out in a really honest fashion, look your business and yourself in the mirror and go, I think I know what I'm doing a little bit more than I did two hours ago. And come away with some clarity and some action steps that you can go test in the real world. And I guarantee you'll prove to yourself you can do better tomorrow than you're doing today if you just stop and take kind of this checkup from the neck up.
awesome, awesome. And so you uh, are gonna you're gonna include a document that I'll get to everybody who wants to join us for this live event we got coming up. We'll be hosting it on Zoom. All you have to do if if what Ron just shared resonates with you, you respond back to me. Send me your best email. I will then put you on the list and you'll receive a calendar invite from me uh, with the date. And like, I'll, I'll look at dates. I mean, I, I remember the actual, we got it scheduled. I'll look at my calendar because I don't remember offhand when we scheduled it for, but. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it's on my calendar somewhere too. Yeah, but I think yeah. it'd be really fun. And I, I'll, I'll tell you what, you know, this is essentially what I call a thousand dollar cup of coffee that I have with, with clients all the time. And I generally charge a thousand dollars to go through this process over a cup of coffee for two hours and walk away with with the piece of paper that folks are going to walk away with. So this is kind of like a free thousand dollar cup of coffee with me, really looking at your business and what it is and what it can do. And we'll, we'll ask people to participate on the call. We'll go around and say, Hey, we'll answer this one for me, answer that one for me. So that folks are folks get the sense and the flow that it's not, this is not a lecture. This is a, this is a, a teaching moment where we go in and, and we have a conversation about what's going on in some businesses. Awesome. Awesome. Ron, thank you so much for taking the time. It's going to be fun. Your schedule to do this. I'm really, I'm stoked about this. I'm really looking That's forward to fun. this. So thanks again. All right. See you there. See you there.